I do, yes. Former Canadian ambassador to the U.S., David McNaughton Marcia, is scheduled not only to talk to us, but to Cabinet, more importantly, this afternoon, about the nature of that relationship, particularly going forward. Hi, Mr. McNaughton. It's good to see you. Good to see you. I appreciate you making the time for us before you head into Cabinet. And I, and I want to start off just, I wonder if the fact that so much has changed over the last month in the U.S. informs the advice you're preparing to give Cabinet at all. And if so, in what way? Not really. Uh, I mean, the reality is, uh, I've been saying for some time now, um, regardless of who wins the election in the United States, we've got a challenge, which is that the United States is becoming more protectionist, more isolationist. Obviously, the world is in turmoil, and we've got to figure out how we are going to uh, retain and enhance our relationship with the United States, not just on trade, but as a key partner of the United States in a free world. So. In pragmatic terms, like what's your best advice to be able to do that, regardless of whether it's a Trump presidency or a Harris presidency? Well, I think, you know, we like to go to the U.S. and talk about um, us. You know, so, you know, it's nice to meet you now. Let's talk about me. You know, I think we've got to be a little bit more sensitive to their needs and and, you know, a true friend, a true ally uh, says, you know, what is it? How can we help you? And I don't think that's to diminish the so-called charm offensive and the outreach and everything else. I, I do think it's important that you know, we maintain good relationships with those who, who, you know, Canada's important to them and we need to reinforce that because if we don't, you know, they don't, they don't, they, they forget about it. They forget about how important Canada is, but that's not, that's not sufficient. It's, it's necessary, but it's not sufficient. What we've got to do in this world with all the turmoil that's going on is to be a really good ally and that means doing some stuff that maybe isn't really comfortable for us. I just have time for one more question. You were there for the Trump years. When you talk about sort of conveying what we can do for them, and maybe that's the stuff that does make us uncomfortable, what is an example of something you think that we could offer that might make us a bit more uncomfortable but could resonate with either administration? Well, I, I mean, obviously, uh, the defense, you know, whether it be on helping Ukraine, whether it be in, uh, you know, the Arctic, whether it be, you know, whatever, on the, the security and defense side is clearly important to them. And we need to step up. And I've been saying this for a long time. This is nothing new. Um, and, you know, everybody talks about the 2%. Well, yeah, okay, 2% is a target. But w what I'm really interested in, and I think what they're interested in also, is what can you do to help us now? Like what with the challenges that we're facing right now. So, and I think you know the, uh, you know the the uh, tariffs on like uh, you know uh, vehicles, that was you know something we really had to do. I think I don't think we had a choice. I think it was kind of one of those things where if we hadn't done it, we were going to be you know out of step. Out of step. So so anyway, there are a lot, there are a lot of things. It's a really complicated world right now, and I think, you know, the Americans are looking, as everybody is, for who's, who's going to help them with the challenges they have, and we've got to be there. I'll leave it on that out. Mr. McNaughton, I appreciate your time Great very much. You. That's former okay. Canadian ambassador to the U.S., David McNaughton. Mercy, I'll send it back to you. We'll have lots more coverage from the retreat throughout the morning.